Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. I am Bala Rangana. In this session, we are going to see comment, adding comment. Let's jump into it. It's often required some of the statement to define a purpose, why you are writing specific statement or specific intent so that you can always come back and revisit it. And comments are the lines which are not executed by tag UI and you can write it as a free flow text or you can also write a comment or add a comment on a line which you don't want them to be executed. It is especially very helpful when you are trying to debug or fix any problem. It is very straightforward, very simple uh, as a concept and uh, the syntax is just double slash. If you just say double slash and provide your comment, whatever the comment you have, for example, slash slash update the forex rate. So if you are writing a business logic or writing a process which basically updates the forex uh, forex rates uh, it is very helpful to see what you have done it in the block of statement or a code let's jump into it to see an example how it should be used fire your notepad plus plus notepad plus plus opens in the notepad plus plus you can just say double slash and whatever you write commented line of code will not be executed. Echo, I am an uncommented line of code will be executed. So in this case, whatever the line you see with the slash slash double slash slash will not be executed. It is just for our reference or purpose. And the line which you see without the slash slash will get executed. So let's save this and test our program. So go to your desired location, select your location where you want to save it. Say comment example dot tag tag and save the file. Open command prompt. And uh, in the command prompt, navigate to your folder and uh, run tag UI comment example dot tag just say minus for unhidden running in a headless mode click enter and see how it executes so now if you see the slash slash commented line will not be displayed only the line which we have not commented is displayed so to just make sure if you are debugging, if you don't want this line to be executed, just add double slash and say echo and just say line and say save again and then go back and execute it again. In this particular case, only a line should be displayed. See, nothing is displayed because we have no nothing to, to accept or put it back on the screen. So only echo is being displayed. So hash slash slash and a commented line or whatever the line you are specifying, that specific line will not be executed and the line which does not have get executed. So if you want to remove it, you can remove it back and say save. And then when you run back again, you will find that a specific line of code getting executed. It's pretty helpful when you're debugging it, uh, when you are trying to block it or trying to define what is the purpose of the line of code which you're writing it or the uh, flow or a process. So it's pretty helpful for that particular purpose. For a better practice, you should have uh, for documentation of a code, writing comment is the most important thing 
So I would encourage and advise whatever the purpose you're writing it, define as a, in a comment, and then you start writing your code so that whenever you come back or some, anybody is referring your code to fix anything, it would be helpful for him to really understand the context, the intent you have put certain things uh, from a fixed standpoint. So this concludes comments command. We'll see another command in our next session. Thanks for watching.